In this video, I wanna show you how I used a weld on hitch receiver tube, some pieces of two by two square tubing, a readily available roller, a half inch bolt, some flange nuts, all combined to make a really nice and heavy duty adjustable tripod. I use these flange nuts because you don't worry about getting into the threads and messing up those threads and having to re-tap those. Gives you a lot more weld surface. Standard size for a hitch pin is 5 eighths of an inch, so I use a uh, half inch bolt that gives me a little bit of clearance.
So really quickly, I just want to mention the weld settings here. This is the 210 MP factory set to 5 16 which is 366 inches a minute, 20 volts. What that does, it allows me to really adjust my speed as well as focus heat on the, the thicker material and then just whip that heat up to the thinner material because of the, the range. But it allows me to keep my weld speed up. Little coupons. Two inches wide by three and a quarter long. I've got a pilot hole in them and now I'm going for a final hole size. Always try to keep that weld seam hidden. In this case, we're gonna face it to the ground. My big torch set is on a job site, so we gotta use the little portable torch set. 
So the main thing to watch on here is by the time you have these threaded in and this bent at a 90, you don't want to run out of clearance here. And you don't want to keep this so tight that you can't get your hands around it to tighten it. So we're looking for a bend maybe three quarters to one inch above these threads. About right there. And that's going to leave us the clearance here as well as room with a gloved hand to spin those. This is a dry, a dry molly lube here, so it dries, it doesn't stay wet. Perfect. Now these are the rollers that I bought in a five pack. I think the weak point is gonna be this little shaft here, but we'll run them, run them until they don't work anymore, and we'll see. You can get these in a two inch, as I mentioned earlier, which is why I held these up a little bit higher. I can still fit a two inch, this is a one and a half. Now the way you install these is one side pushes like so. So you put this in here and you pull that and then this side drops in like so. So you can see there's a couple of different styles here. These three were supposed to be a matching set. I had cut material to make three identicals, two short legs, one long leg on the front. Reason being, that's the way that you always lean towards where you're pulling and it's less likely to tip over. Unfortunately, when I was doing my mock-up, I grabbed one of the short legs, welded it on there without catching it. It was supposed to look like this with the brace in here. So I kind of had to adapt on the on the fly, which is why this piece ended up with a few holes in it. That was just a remnant I grabbed out of the scrap bin. So I should have had three matchings. It hurt my feelings a little bit, but my fault. Didn't catch it soon enough, but it'll be fine. And then I have these two right here that I kind of pieced together with scrap. I had two little short pieces of receiver tube welded those together and then uh, this one I had a it's about a seven inch piece or so these are some thinner legs but they'll be fine for whatever they're these are these are getting dedicated to the bandsaw in feed and then these uh, I just built them and they'll kick around wherever they're needed I'm pretty happy with the results there. Got the bonus one over there. And the outfeed one there. Not too shabby.